guys, it is Eric Barfield back with another tutorial. Today we're going to learn about how to map MIDI controllers in edit mode in main stage. So with me today I have an Axiom Air 32. This is my travel keyboard. I'm on the road at the moment. And uh, we're going to show how to map these knobs in edit mode to your main stage rig. So first thing we're going to do, fire up main stage. This will take just a second because I have a video capture program running, so it's a little bit sluggish. And we'll select a template. We can use any template that we want. Let's see here. It's loading up. And boom, we have our set up right here. Now, today, just to make things interesting, we are going to map the mod wheel to a parameter. So the first step that we need to do is we need to figure out what we want the parameter or the modulation wheel to control. Um, let's just kind of look through here for a second. Maybe I want the mod wheel to control the volume of the classic electric piano. That might be helpful. So what I can do, I can go here, come down here into this sub menu, click on the classic piano, Vintage Electric Piano, scroll all the way until I find the volume. And now, when I move the mod wheel, this is going to control the volume. Um, this is great, but that was kind of slow. Let me show you the fast way to do it. So the other option is to click on this, hit the Assign and Map, then fire up Electric Piano. Let's drag it to the side so we can see what we're doing. And then we're just simply going to click on this and move it maybe just a little bit just to make sure that we've actually selected it. I'm going to close this. And now this controls the volume. Isn't that awesome? Okay, that's literally all you have to do here. Um, the only thing that I want to show you that this does as well, did you notice the bell is moving here? If I come over here, you can probably see it really well. This bell is moving at the same time that I'm moving this little modulation wheel. The reason for this is Main Stage has decided they want to mess with us and automatically assign some of the parameters here. And Main Stage does this occasionally with certain controllers. I'm going to show you how to get rid of this or beat Main Stage. <laughs> so when I move this knob, there's a little yellow light that appears here. Here's, it's automatically assigned to smart num knob number one. We want to get rid of that. So I'm going to click on this, get the little downward triangle, and I'm going to select the channel as unassigned. This is basically going to pull that smart mapping off and make sure it never happens again. We're going to go back to full screen mode. And now when I move the mod wheel, this bell is staying perfectly still. If you have ever bought a pack from me, or if you've ever used a main stage patch from somebody else, you definitely want to go through and make sure that you have none of these automatic assignments set up. And if you have any questions about that, you can leave them in the show notes, or I'd recommend you check out my layout mode video. That's it for today. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. I'll try and be concise. I'll try to be uh, clear. And we'll see you soon.